justifying his billable hours. Cody is here with your two minutes of mayhem. Well, let me say this. Producer Tessa normally searches the world over for these stories. Yeah. Now she went the universe. Yeah. Ooh. The universe, the universe for all these stories. Verse. NASA's right. Juno mission has captured some stunning images over the past few months, and they just keep on getting better. New images show a stunning view of Jupiter's great red spot and its first close up flyby of the huge storm. By the way, winds in that? Over 400 miles per hour. Dang! Crazy. Wow. Uh, they show you not only its size, but its extraordinary color. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. It's cool. The flyby was the closest a spacecraft has ever flown directly over the 10,000 mile wide red spot, passing as close as 2,100 miles above the planet. I looked at all these pictures yesterday. Wow. All day long. <laughs> Carol's like, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Research and sciencey things. Sure you are. C is for cocaine, and that's good. Oh gosh! Wait, wait a second. No, that's wrong. <laughs> 39-year-old Key West man, of course, the story's from Florida. Of course. Is in jail after he was caught with a large amount of cocaine <laughs> hidden inside a Cookie Monster doll. Oh no! Don't know that. That's not a cookie. Not that cookies. A uh, sheriff's deputy had pulled him over for an obscured plate. He could smell marijuana in the car. The search of the vehicle turned up a backpack with a blue Cookie Monster doll inside. The deputy noticed the doll seemed to weigh more than it should. Uh -huh. That's because it was stuffed with 314 grams of cocaine. Wow. Dang. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Wow. Whoa. Wow, That's cookie. Easy. You need to lose a little weight there around the middle. Uh, he was uh, uh, arrested and charged with trafficking in cocaine. Key West, you say? And cuddly animals. Oh, oh dear. In the keys. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Oh, weird. weird. Yeah, uh, weird. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> okay, this is a great story because <laughs> nobody believed this guy. A contractor's day on the job took an eventual turn for the worst. Uh, a maintenance worker at a Corpus Christi Bank of America needed to repair the lock in the room behind the ATM. All right. While working on the latch, he got locked in. Uh oh. Oh no. Now the branch was closed for repairs, so oh, he was alone no. and he didn't have a cell phone. I see where this is going. Oh. He was stuck in there for two hours. So as customers were making withdrawals, he was giving them deposit slips oh, with little notes uh, that said, "Help me, my call gosh. my boss." Uh, through the machine, many people thought it was a joke. <laughs> they didn't think it was real. Poor guy's trapped in there. The cops took the silly situation seriously. He is now out of the little tiny room. Oh walking. my gosh! I would have been looking for punk. <laughs> Where are the cameras? I keep waiting for a note like that in a fortune cookie. <laughs> I just love it. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, what is that? Oh, wait, what? It's giving me real. Um, I got this note at the ATM. C is for. No. Yeah. That's something else. You know, at the end when it asks you, would you like a receipt? Yes. <laughs> would you like a help note for, to call the police? No. No. No, no I don't. No, I don't not really. Know. Not especially. That was good. Thanks, Code. <laughs> All right, Code. Wow. <laughs> All right.